Welcome to this version of Will It Measure. Today we're going to be looking at the standard demo part we use here at Go Measure 3D. We're going to be utilizing a Microscribe MX Digitizer. On the screen you'll see three items. You'll see the PDF drawing of the demo part showing the measurement item's location. We'll also see the values expected or the nominals and we'll see the tolerances that we need to inspect them within. you also see a camera view of the demo part and you'll see me bringing the stylus and measuring the demo part as we go through the process. This is Moby Gauge, the software package that we're going to be using to collect the data from the Microscribe and manage the report. Inside of Moby Gauge we've already taken the liberty to set up all of the measurements necessary to get a report or a measurement process for this particular part. And these are all of the measurements inclusive. So let's go ahead and get started in this measurement process. I'm going to go in and clear all measurements from any existing measurements we had already taken. And I'm going to say let's measure all. So now Moby Gauge will guide us through the process of measuring this particular part. It wants us to measure the top plane. So we'll bring the stylus down and make contact with the part. Utilizing the hand switch that is provided with the microscribe, we'll go ahead and collect a point. We'll move over and collect a second point, a third point, and a fourth point to use to de uh, declare a plane. I'm going to utilize the top button on the hand switch to advance to the next measurement feature. So now it would like us to measure the inside hole. I'll bring the stylus tip in, take a point, two points, three points, and then the fourth point. And we'll go ahead and advance to the next measurement. Next Moby Gauge is requesting the information for the outside diameter of B. And if you'll notice, all of these diameters, again, are pointed out on our drawing or our PDF file. Let's go ahead and get the outside diameter. We'll take a few points to describe that outside diameter. Next, it wants to move on to the countersinks, so let's give them a measurement. Advancing to the bottom countersink. The back one. And then we'll advance to the top right. Now, it's looking for this information. What is the radius value of the slaughter measurement E? So we'll go ahead and take that information. Wants to know the depth value. So we're going to measure a plane inside of these countersink holes. Now it wants to know H. If we look at our drawing, we can see H is wanting to know the distance between these two outside edges. So we'll measure that with two lines. So we'll go ahead and take one point for our first line, one point for our second line, and then we'll go ahead and take a second point. On our second line. Now it wants to know the through hole value. So we'll come in, it's just a hole measurement. And then the last measurement is to measure this plane so that it can take a measurement from that plane to the center hole here, which will be the measurement of J.
Thus concludes the measurements necessary. So let's take a uh, look at the results. We'll go over here to our report plan. We'll scroll up to the top. So here are the results of our measurement process. As you can see, we get some data here and we're looking at measurement A, which is this call out, it's telling us this is the roundness, this is the radius we measured, we look at the nominal, and this is the deviation from the nominal, the diameter and its deviation. Here's some XYZ information about that particular part. We also notice that there's a green OK, that's just a, a go, no go gauge for us to know that the part is within the tolerance that we set up and specified. If it was not, it would be colored red. Outside diameter, same process. It's giving us a green for OK. D, the measurement or distance between the center holes and these back holes. It's telling us it's within a thou 1. E is that diameter, thou 7. The counter bore uh, looks like it was in within 2 tenths. Uh, G which is this measurement between these two holes. Looks like we were within 7 tenths. And H uh, looks like we we're within a thou 2. And I and so forth. And then we come down to J, which J is this width here. So now that we have all this information, we can go ahead and save that information and export it to an Excel file so that we can keep it or send it with our parts to the customers. So we'll go ahead and save that file. We'll name it We'll save it. So yes, to answer the question, will it measure? Yes, it did within the specifications allowed. Thank you for looking at the demo part in our Will It Measure series.